I'm back with another update using my HD camera this time. Uh, I finished painting the window frames, uh, the MIP stand, and I brought the roof in. And it looks pretty, pretty cool. Uh, let's go over here. I've, I'm still going to paint these again because this is just primer. I'm going to put like a kind of a grayer white onto it. And I accidentally got some paint right there because I'm not very good at painting. Uh, these screws right here, I think I'm going to take them out and finish over it because it doesn't look like that in the real plane. It looks more like a smooth piece of plastic, so I'm probably going to take those out and smooth over it. I've got the overhead up here just for just to see how it's going to look. I uh, still haven't done anything with the electronics. Um, so it's the forward overhead and I'm gonna I need to put go ahead and frame the aft overhead. I've got the backing right here. I'm gonna put plexiglass over it, frame it like I did the other one. Um, so yeah, it'll probably come back to about here, then I'll have to put something behind it. Um, I'm gonna put some of this metal right here in between the aft and forward overhead and I need to cut out a board to put around the front of it right there um so it looks very good uh, I haven't done anything today I painted all this yesterday but it looks really 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 good um need to secure the roof on more. I don't know if I'm going to start on the back wall just yet. I think I'm going to get all the electronics and stuff sorted out and then do the back wall. Or I might just start on the back wall if I can't get the uh, electronic stuff together. Or just a little side project, the back wall, because I'm not that, uh, I don't think the back wall is extremely necessary just yet. And it won't be that hard to do. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to cover the back wall with a board and then I'm going to add circuit breaker panels, fake ones, as I go, but it's not the real... The sim doesn't have the same width, I don't think. It's a little bit more narrow, like in the back. Uh, up front it's all realistic, but in the back it's a little more narrow, so I don't know if I can fit all the panels in, but I think I can because I don't have the... Because this one's over this way. And it's got the jump seat, and I don't have that. I might actually go ahead and frame all that out. I don't know, but we'll have to see. Uh, I can't. I can't get uh, my LED stuff in because uh, after uh, Mark sent me an offer on the interfaces kits he sells, he just never emailed me back for about two weeks. So I hope he's okay and emails me back soon. Uh, Hopefully it will. If not, I'm going to have to just use Pokey cards for all the LEDs and stuff. But today I was actually experimenting around with uh, the Pokey's card and the matrix you set up to do them. And I'm going to have to buy some boards to solder these seven seconds in because it was a pain in the butt soldering to the back of these. And I don't even think I did it right because it's not working and these chips are, are dead they heated up and burnt out I don't think I read the diagram correctly or something it's happened to me before uh, but I'll get it worked out I'll have to order some more chips not expensive at all uh, or I'll get the kit in and I need to buy a new soldering iron because that one's not spreading the solder right and I need to quit using lead-free solder because I've never been able to solder with that right. Um, and that stuff gets in your lungs, I've heard. It's actually worse than lead, lead-free. So, so, uh, yeah, this is it. Uh, i got to figure out what I'm going to do with the visuals. Um, I've got this big flat screen right here. And I actually, I actually set the flat screen in front of it and two of my smaller monitors on each side and I flew it like that and it, it's like if you're looking straight forward you can kind of see movement in your peripheral vision so it seems kind of like you're turning 
but I don't know if I want that because there's like blank spaces on each side of that or I just want to do three in the front and then add on side ones later and get the computer I've got down there working or build an entire new one to run those or I could eventually do a projector setup but I don't really see that happening uh, if I did do a projector one it'd have to be one projector and maybe two I don't I don't really want to spend the money on extremely expensive projectors uh, so yeah let's see in front of that I gotta all right well that one right there has a bolt through it and you can see the head of the screw under it holding on the overhead and this one just has a screw through it because I ran out of bolts but I'm gonna change it out real quick so nobody kills himself on it <laughs> um, so yeah um, needs to be tightened down it's actually really sturdy um, sturdier than I thought uh, so yeah all painted up. Looks nice. I gotta fill that space here, but I'm not gonna do that until I figure out what I'm gonna do about the yokes. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, take my uh, there's a Satek one. No, it's back here. I think I'm gonna take my Satek one and buy another yoke at just used or whatever. It doesn't even have to work. I'm gonna cut the the uh, yoke off of the box or whatever and pull the electronics out and make my own columns and link them together possibly I'm gonna have to draw out plans for that and see how it's supposed to work and everything and yeah so that's that's it